Hi guys, I'm Tori and I'm the Director of Operations for the Dravet Group here on Cape Cod. Today I am kicking off the first video in our new series where we will be exploring all of the towns and villages here on Cape. So if you're not a local here on Cape Cod, you might be wondering, what the heck is the difference between a town and a village? Basically, Cape Cod incorporates all of Barnstable County and Barnstable County comprises 15 towns, which are then broken into smaller villages. So it only felt right to start with the village that I grew up in. So today we will be exploring and learning all about the village of Marsons Mills. If you're interested in learning more about this beautiful Cape Cod village, then stick around because I'm going to take you on a tour. Let's go. So we're just going to take a nice drive around some of my favorite Marsons Mills neighborhoods while I tell you a little bit about what makes this Cape Cod village unique. So we're starting off the tour at the Cape Cod Airfield, which originally started in 1929 and was a Massachusetts Air National Guard summer training site in the 1930s. And this is actually the only grass airport left on the Cape. Now this airport offers scenic biplane air tours of the Cape, and if you're really adventurous, you can even skydive right from their Marsons Mills location. If you're a golfer, you'll appreciate the 18-hole Old Barnstable Fairgrounds Golf Course, which is locally recognized for its beautiful conditions and the delicious food at the course's tavern, which is where we are now. Some other popular recreational activities available in Marston's Mills include Burgess Park, which was purchased by the town in 1989 for its historic and scenic values, and now includes a disc golf course, which is very popular amongst the locals, and we will be driving by here in just a minute. There's also the Long Pond Conservation Area, which has a scenic bike path and access to a nice sandy beach on the pond. And here we are coming up on Burgess Park and the Disc Golf Course now. Now we're going to head down towards Main Street. Main Street in Marston's Mills is mostly residential with Liberty Hall and the Marston's Mills Public Library located on the road. Marston's Mills Community Church is located near the former Marston's Mills Elementary School and across from Liberty Hall. Main Street is also home to some of Marston's Mills favorite small businesses including the Plum Porch Gift Shop, Salon in the Mills Hair Salon, Morning Glory Cafe, and the Mills Restaurant which was actually voted as a 2020 neighborhood favorite for breakfast and brunch by locals on Nextdoor. So as we continue down Main I'll just tell you a little bit more about the village. Of all the villages in Barnstable, Marston's Mills is the most rural in nature with lots of horse farms, cranberry bogs, parks, and most notably its beautiful freshwater ponds and lakes. Uh, as a kid I always loved growing up within walking distance to a few of these ponds and I know a lot of locals appreciate the access they have to great swimming spots as well as all the opportunities there are in Marston's Mills for kayaking, paddle boarding, boating, and fishing. Right now we are passing Mill Pond, which dates back to the 17th century when part of the Marsons Mills River actually powered a grist mill here. And today it's a beautiful scenic wildlife refuge and an active herring run. So we're coming up on the end of Main Street where it intersects with Route 28. And at the center of town we have some more local businesses as well as a grocery store and multiple drug stores so that everything you need is close and easily accessible um, right within the village. So as we drive by some of the major shopping centers in this part of town, I'll tell you a little bit more about the location of Marsons Mills. It's convenient to the warm water beaches of Osterville, Katua, and Mashpee while only being just a short drive to downtown Hyannis, where a lot of Marsville's businesses, restaurants, and shopping centers are located. Though Marsons Mills has a variety of small businesses, the top four categories of employment for Marsons Mills residents are healthcare and social assistance, construction, retail trade, and education. The average commute time for Marsons Mills locals is around 23 minutes, though almost 27% of residents report drive times of less than 15 minutes to work. So for the next part of the tour, we're going to drive around some beautiful neighborhoods in Marsons Mills while I tell you a little bit more about the area and some specific market stats. We're starting in a gorgeous neighborhood called Indian Lakes, right off of Route 149. So Marsons Mills has two elementary schools, West Villages Elementary and Barnstable United Elementary School. It is also home to the Barnstable Horace Mann Charter School for students in grades 4 and 5. Students in grades 6 and 7 usually attend Barnstable Intermediate School in Hyannis and students in grades 8 through 12 attend Barnstable High School also in Hyannis. The population of Marsons Mills is currently around 5.3 thousand people with the median age of its residents being around 50. Marsons Mills consists predominantly of primary residences with 90% of the homes in the area being owned while only 10% are rented. The median estimated home value in Marsons Mills is right around $401,000 
This median home value has actually increased about 8.4% over the last 12 months. So let's talk a little bit about what the real estate market has looked like in Marston's Mills in the last six months and the first half of 2020. So looking at data from the Realtors Property Resource, which pulls from our local MLSs as well as from local public records from January 1st, 2020 through June 30th, 56 homes sold in Marston's Mills in the last six months. Of those 56 homes, a little over 41% sold for between $300,000 and $400,000. Another 12.5% sold for over $550,000, while only about 5.4% of those homes sold for less than two fifty. dollars So of those 56 homes that sold in Marston's Mills in the last six months, the median price per square foot was between $250 and $300, with 37% of these homes falling into that bracket. Now that we know what the market looked like in the first half of 2020, let's take a look at what's going on in real estate right now in Marston's Mills through June and July of 2020. And while we do that, let's head out of Indian Lakes and go check out another beautiful Marston's Mills neighborhood called Old Homestead Drive right off of River Road. So if you're currently in the market for a single family residence in Marston's Mills, there are currently 13 to choose from, ranging in price from $298 all the way up to $4,795,000, with eight of those 13 homes actually currently being listed at over a million. So right now we've got a lot of luxury inventory in Marston's Mills and not a lot else. So let's take a look at the absorption rate in Marston's Mills right now. That sounds fancier than it is. It's just a term used in the real estate market to evaluate the rate at which homes are sold in a specific market during um, a specific period of time. In which case we are going to be looking at homes sold from June 1st through July 28th when I'm recording this. So in the last 60 days, 13 homes came on the market and eight homes were sold. So if eight homes sold in the last 60 days, that means about four homes are selling each month in Marston's Mills right now. So a per month absorption rate of about four homes. If we take that rate of four homes per month and we divide it into the number of active listings in Marston's Mills right now, we get three and a quarter. This is how many months of inventory we currently have available in the area. Six months is usually considered a balanced market and indicates the number of buyers roughly equals the number of listing. So with only three and a quarter months of inventory, Marston's Mills um, and the whole Cape at large right now is experiencing a seriously strong seller's market. In the last 60 days, actually 19 homes have pended in Marston's Mills and another 14 homes um, in Marston's Mills just went under contract. So this lack of inventory um, mixed with really high buyer demand right now is definitely driving Marston's Mills home values way up. It really wouldn't be a tour of Marston's Mills without at least one cranberry bog. So we're wrapping up our tour today on a road appropriately named Bog Road. And this bog has a beautiful walking trail. It's about three miles around and is a local favorite. So I hope you enjoyed your tour of Marston's Mills. If you have any questions about the village or any of the surrounding towns, don't hesitate to reach out. And we'll see you next Thursday. So if you're not... Okay. So... All 15 of those towns are then... Each of those 15 towns is then... More about this beautiful... Hope you guys... Hope you guys enjoyed your tour!